Hello viewers, we will discuss contour integration in this session. So, last time we defined what a contour is, it is a join of piecewise smooth curves over some parametric interval and we are going to use those contours uh, to define uh, a line integral of some sort for complex valued functions. Okay. So, here is contour integration. So, let gamma be a contour in C with in C this is the complex plane C with a parameter interval a b ok and let uh, let f from gamma star remember that is the range of the range set of uh, the contour gamma ok. So, uh, f from gamma star to c uh, be a continuous uh, complex function. Okay. So, then uh, define uh, so this symbol I will call this the contour integral of f over gamma okay. as well this is the uh, notation the contour integration of f over gamma is equal to the integration uh, over this interval a b of f of gamma of t times gamma prime of t d t. <coughs> okay. And uh, the right hand side here is actually uh, an integral of the sort we have seen in the last uh, session, where uh, okay, so f of gamma of t times gamma prime of t okay, is um, essentially uh, um, a complex valued function okay, uh, in the uh, with, with a real parameter t okay, and we have integrated such functions in the last session. Okay. So, um, the right hand side integral in the right hand side integral uh, gamma prime may not be defined at all places. So, uh, we will we will assume for this definition that uh, gamma is a smooth contour. So, please allow me to make the, the change that gamma be a smooth contour. So, if gamma is uh, not uh, smooth all over Okay, so, if it is piecewise smooth like, like we have in a general case, uh, then we would define this integral to be uh, summation uh, over specific intervals okay, and we break this interval a b into intervals where uh, you know gamma is uh, smooth. Okay. So, what I mean by that is suppose, um, suppose uh, gamma is uh, piecewise smooth uh, contour on uh, okay, with the parameter interval a b okay. and uh, suppose that there are n points. Okay. So, uh, suppose that gamma is smooth on a t 1 comma a t 1 t 2 etcetera t n comma b let us say okay, where these points a strictly less than t 1 strictly less than t 2 t n strictly less than b. Okay. So, this is a, this is how a piecewise uh, smooth contour will look like it is uh, it is smooth on pieces like that on pieces of this interval. Okay. Then, uh, then uh, in this case define then this integration 
this contour integration uh, f over gamma is defined as the summation uh, okay well uh, i have written in this um, yeah okay so i will write t0 to be a okay and tn plus 1 to be b for convenience okay so then i can write summation k equals 0 to n plus 1 okay uh, of the integration from t k okay so this summation will run only until n okay t k to t k plus 1 of uh, f of gamma of t gamma prime of t and now uh, we don't have problem because gamma prime is defined on all of these um, all of these intervals okay it's piecewise smooth so uh, on each of these intervals uh, gamma prime is smooth or gamma is smooth rather okay so we can define the contour integration uh, in a modified fashion like this uh, for piecewise smooth contours okay so let us see uh, some examples let us see how to uh, calculate uh, a contour integration uh, in some cases. Okay. So, here is uh, the first example let uh, gamma of t be the curve uh, be the contour e power i t 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 pi. So, this is the uh, unit circle okay, parameterized in that fashion in the standard fashion okay. and let, uh, let f of z equals z square. Okay this is uh, for all z okay so in particular uh, this function uh, is continuous on the uh, range of the contour uh, namely the unit circle this is actually uh, analytic function all over c it's an entire function so it's definitely continuous over this contour okay so we can compute we can compute so compute the contour integration of f uh, over the given contour. Okay. So, you can compute this, this by definition is uh, the integration okay, over this interval parametric interval 0 to 2 pi of uh, f of e power i t okay, and uh, then gamma prime is i e power i t the differentiation of e power i t i t is i e power i t and then we have a d t. Okay. So, this gives us uh, well f of e power i t f is f of z is z squared. So, f of e power i t is e power i t squared which is e power 2 i t okay, times i e power i t d t. Okay. So, we get uh, integration from 0 to 2 pi of e i e raised to 3 i t d t okay, which I am going to write as integration from 0 to 2 pi of i times cos 3 t plus i sin 3 t okay, d t and multiply the i you get integration from 0 to 2 pi of uh, minus sin 3 t plus i times cosine 3 t d t. Okay. So, now the integrand is a uh, real uh, parameter function okay, uh, and it is complex value okay. and we have seen how to integrate such a function you just separate it into um, it is uh, integrated by separating it into the real and imaginary parts. So, you get integration from 0 to 2 pi of minus sin 3 t d t plus i times integration from 0 to 2 pi of cos 3 t d t okay, which is clearly 0. Okay. Okay. So, um, so, that is how we compute these integrals. Okay. And uh, there are well let us let us actually see one more example. 
So uh, this is, you know, in some sense, the fundamental integral. Okay, this example is very important. It keeps coming back to us again and again. Okay, so uh, we'll use this uh, very much. So it's an important example. Uh, let f of z, okay, equal z power n. Okay, so essentially, it's the previous example uh, with z power n instead of uh, z square. Okay, so let uh, f of z be z power n. N is any integer. Okay, z not equal to zero if n is strictly less than zero, but that doesn't matter for us. Uh, let uh, gamma of t be your unit circle parameterization parameterized as before okay or we can actually take uh, a circle of radius r okay uh, where r is positive okay zero less than or equal to so let me write that gamma of t is r e power i t zero less than or equal to t less than or equal to pi okay so this is a circle of radius r r is a positive real number. Okay. So, compute uh, well since r is positive real number f is uh, definitely defined there uh, on the range of gamma and also it is continuous there. It is actually analytic on uh, gamma. Okay. So, uh, compute the contour integral of f over the contour gamma. Okay. So, this is okay, uh, the integration of r raised r e power i t raised to n, okay, z raised to n, z comes from uh, the contour. Okay. So, gamma of t raised to n um, okay, and then um, times gamma prime of t, gamma prime is r i e raised to i t and then a d t and the parameter interval is 0 to uh, pi. I apologize, this should be the circle 2 pi 2 pi. Okay. So, uh, the contour okay, uh, visually is a circle of radius r okay, centered at the origin. Okay. It starts at r Okay, and ends at the same real number. It goes in the counter counterclockwise direction and ends at the same real number r. Okay. And the calculation is uh, very similar. So, you get r power n plus 1 okay. r power n plus 1 integration from 0 to 2 pi uh, and then you have a i and then you have e power i times n plus 1 t d t. Okay. e power i n t from in here and then 1 e power i t from here. Okay. So, you get uh, what do you get? Well, let me write e power i n plus 1 t as cos n plus 1 t times sin plus i times sin n plus 1 t like before. Okay. So, I get integration from 0 to 2 pi of r power n plus 1 times i times cos n plus 1 t plus i sin n plus 1 t dt. Okay. So, uh, this gives me integration from 0 to 2 pi okay. and the real part is minus r power n plus 1 sin n plus 1 t d t and then plus i times integration from 0 to 2 pi of r power n plus 1 cosine n plus 1 t d t. Okay. So, uh, this is minus r power n plus 1 if so I will split this into cases if if n is not equal to minus 1. Okay, so, case 1 
if n is not equal to minus 1 in this case you can integrate uh, okay you can integrate this piece to get minus r power n plus 1 uh, well the integration of sin is negative cosine so i get plus cosine n plus 1 uh, t divided by n plus 1 and then between 0 and 2 pi okay and that's that's clearly a zero plus i times likewise r power n plus 1 uh, sin the integration of cosine is sin n plus 1 t divided by n plus 1 between 0 to pi okay, and that is also a 0. So, the integration is 0 okay. and case 2 if n is equal to minus 1 then of course, you cannot have n plus 1 in the denominator, but firstly the integra integrand is just 1 or sorry um, it is just um, okay. So, the integrand is uh, 0 to 2 pi minus r power n plus 1 times 0 for the real part because sin sin of 0 is 0 okay. and then plus i times integral 0 to 2 pi uh, r power n plus 1 times cosine 0 which is 1. Okay. So, that you get r power n plus 1 well n is uh, minus 1. So, I can substitute r power 0. So, I just get uh, 1 here 1 times uh, i times 2 pi. So, which is 2 pi i. Okay. So, the contour integral f of z dz where uh, the contour is a circle of radius r uh, centered at 0 okay, and f is uh, z power n is equal to. Uh, <coughs> so, let me write z power n instead of f z power n d z is equal to uh, 0 if n is not equal to minus 1 and it is equal to 2 pi i if n equals minus So, this is very important integral, this is a fundamental integral okay. and uh, we can actually there is another form of this, we can actually extend this to uh, the following and this is an exercise to the viewer, uh, let r be greater than 0 like in the previous example and a be any complex number, a be a given complex number okay. and let uh, gamma of t is a plus r e to the i t 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 pi. Okay. Uh, then show that uh, the contour integration of the function z minus a power n uh, d z is 0 if n is not equal to minus 1 and 2 pi i if n is equal to minus 1. Okay. So, this is an extended uh, fundamental integral. Okay. So, it is very uh, useful and important for us. Gamma is a circle of radius r around, uh, around a point a, okay. r is any positive number. Then the contour integration of z minus a power n um, has exactly two values 0 or 2 pi i. So, uh, <coughs> that is an exercise okay. and uh, now we have some properties uh, of this contour integral, some easy properties and then uh, some properties that we will prove. Okay. These easy properties are quite easy to see, so I would not prove them. Okay. The first of them uh, I want to say is that the uh, let, okay, so I have to state my assumptions, let gamma be a uh, uh, contour okay, with parameter interval. A B okay, 
then uh, and let f and g from gamma star to c be continuous okay uh, and okay then firstly the contour integral over gamma of f of z plus g of z okay actually plus or minus g of z okay dz is the contour integration of f over gamma plus or minus the contour integration of g over gamma okay this is something we expect Okay. And um, <coughs> to prove it is very easy, just use the definition of contour integration. Okay. And uh, likewise, if you have uh, a constant times um, f of z dz okay, and you want to do the contour integration, the constant can scale out of the contour integration. Okay. This is gamma. Okay, for any a belongs to c. So, if a is a constant like that, it scales out of the contour integration. Okay, next, uh, okay, so now suppose uh, that, so here I want to state further properties in a lemma. Okay, so, suppose that gamma is a path with uh, path or a contour. Okay. So, I am saying contour. So, I will just say contour okay, with uh, parametric interval a comma b okay, and let f from gamma star to c be continuous. like above. Okay. Uh, then, we have three properties. Okay. The first one is uh, that the integration over minus gamma, remember what that is, that is the opposite path to gamma of f of z dz, the contour integral of uh, f over the path minus gamma is the negative of the integral uh, of f over gamma. Okay. So, uh, that uh, okay, that tells us or that is the motivation for why we named that opposite path as minus gamma. Okay. So, uh, so it is the first property and the second of the properties is that uh, suppose Suppose that uh, A is strictly less than tau is strictly less than B. So, tau is some uh, value between A and B. Okay. Uh, let gamma 1 be the restriction of gamma to the closed interval A tau okay. and uh, gamma 2 be the restriction of gamma to the interval tau B. Okay. What that means is that you just uh, uh, define gamma 1 of t equals gamma of t okay, on the interval a comma tau. You do not care for the definition of uh, gamma 1 outside of this interval a comma tau. Okay. So, likewise gamma 2 is gamma of t on the interval tau b okay. and um, then the integration the contour integration of f of z uh, on gamma okay, is actually equal to the contour integration over gamma 1 of f of z dz plus the contour integration of f on the contour gamma 2. Okay. So, you can take a parametric interval and split it up into pieces and restrict the original curve to each of these pieces and uh, find the contour integral on each of these pieces and add up to get the original contour integral 
mind you you can only slice the interval into finite number of pieces okay not okay so um, so in this case we just split it up into two pieces okay and it works so that's the second part of this uh, lemma okay and the third part of this lemma is that uh, if you have so if you have what is called a reparameterization of a contour okay so let gamma tilde um, be another path okay with uh, parameter interval c comma d okay uh, suppose that gamma tilde is gamma circle psi so it's the composition of uh, psi with gamma okay where psi is a function which maps the interval c d to the interval a b okay and has a positive continuous derivative okay so uh, psi is a function okay from uh, c d to a b it's a, a real valued uh, real variable function okay and psi prime is a continuous function and also uh, psi prime is always positive that means psi is an increasing function okay and uh, not only that uh, it is also one to one okay it's a bijection actually okay and it's a smooth function it's a smooth bijection from c d to a b okay and it's invertible as well okay so um, automatically the inverse function will be uh, smooth as well okay smooth according to the definition uh, restricted definition we gave okay and um, then okay then the integration of the contour integration of f on gamma will be the same as the contour integration on gamma tilde of f okay so that's the conclusion okay so what this reparameterization really is is that you take a contour okay and uh, and then you look at its range in the complex plane so it's a it's a curve of certain sort and then it has a range you try to come up with yet another smooth function uh, smooth curve such that the range is the same okay so uh, you know to quickly exemplify you look at gamma of t okay equals uh, let's say t plus i t okay so this looks like uh, this starts at 0 and ends at uh, 1 plus i Okay, that is the range of this function 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1. Okay. And you could also look at gamma tilde of t equals t squared plus i t squared. This is just a motivational example. Curves can be much more complicated of course. Contours can be much more complicated. So, 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1. Okay. Uh, then gamma tilde is a reparameterization of gamma. Okay. Because you can easily construct uh, a function psi okay, from 0 1 to 0 1 such that gamma tilde is gamma circle psi okay, and what might that be psi of t is t squared. Okay. Psi of t is t squared. Okay. So, gamma tilde is gamma circle psi okay. that is clear to that is easy to verify. So, uh, then 
this gamma tilde is a reparameterization. So, you can describe that particular uh, uh, curve you see okay, the, the, the range of gamma that you see uh, you can reparameterize it in terms of some other function okay, and then there will uh, you know you can, you can possibly come up with such a function. Okay, and when you can the, the, the lemma says that the contour integral of f tallies with the contour integral of f on gamma tilde. Okay. So, uh, so, this is uh, this is very uh, neat because then uh, now uh, it turns out that the contour integral really depends only on the uh, range of a gamma. Okay, namely the gamma star, and not uh, not on how you parameterize it, as long as uh, gamma satisfies some uh, smoothness conditions, etc. Okay, so under very mild conditions, your uh, your integration contour integration uh, is really a property of the uh, range uh, gamma star. Okay, so uh, having said that, we will see the proof of property. 3 in this lemma the proof of property 1 and 2 are exercises they are fairly easy one has to use the definitions of a contour integral. Okay. So, 1 and 2 are left as exercises for the viewer let us uh, try to see uh, the proof of uh, property 3 here okay. and uh, it is as follows proof of uh, 3. Okay. So, gamma tilde Okay, uh, is gamma circle psi okay, gamma tilde of t okay, so suppressing the t here okay. and since uh, well c psi is differentiable gamma is differentiable the composition is differentiable and so gamma tilde prime of t okay, by using the chain rule is gamma prime of psi of t okay, times psi prime of t that is the chain rule. right? So, using the chain rule you get this and uh, we will use this to do the following. So, the contour integral over gamma tilde of f of z dz is by the definition uh, c to d that is the parameter interval for gamma tilde okay, of f of gamma tilde of t times gamma tilde prime of t dt. Okay, that is the definition of that is by the definition of contour integration okay. and gamma tilde of t and gamma tilde prime of t are here. So, I am going to substitute them in here. Okay. So, this is integration from c to d of f of gamma circle psi of t. So, gamma circle psi of t is gamma of psi of t okay, that is the definition of composition and then gamma tilde prime is gamma prime of psi of t excuse me psi of t uh, times psi prime of t d t. Okay, at this stage uh, I have uh, I have um, eliminated gamma tilde and um, brought in gamma just using the uh, definition or uh, just using the uh, equality right here. Okay. And then now I, I will make a substitution let uh, tau be equal to psi of t. Okay. So, that d tau is psi prime of t d t. Okay. And when t equals c, tau is psi of c which will be a okay. and when t equals d for the upper limit of integration tau will be psi of d or rather yeah, psi of d which will be equal to b. Recall psi is a monotone function, a monotonously increasing function okay, and it maps uh, a to c, uh, c to a and d to b. Okay. So, uh, so then uh, the contour integration over gamma tilde of f of z dz 
will equal with this substitution uh, it will equal the integration from a to b now we will write everything in terms of uh, tau. So, you get f of uh, gamma of tau because psi of t is tau now okay. and then gamma prime of psi of t is tau and psi prime of t d t is your theta. Okay. And this now exactly looks like well it is the contour integration over gamma of f of z dz. Okay. And that proves that these two integrals are one and the same. Okay. So, <coughs> with that uh, we can really uh, talk about uh, computing contour integrations on uh, a certain contour uh, spoken of as uh, as uh, curves in the complex plane or as uh, ranges in the complex plane okay so uh, here is an example okay so uh, compute the contour integral of z squared dz where gamma is a contour formed by joining gamma 1 the interval minus r comma r okay, and gamma 2 which is r e power i t 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to pi. Okay. So, uh, compute the contour integration okay, where only the range of gamma 1 is given. So, here is your minus r, here is your capital R okay, and r e power i t is count in is, is the semicircle in the counterclockwise direction okay, and this is your gamma 1 and this is your gamma 2 okay, and this is the join. Okay. So, if you observe <coughs> the parameterization of gamma 1 has not been given to us, it is just uh, uh, you know it can be parameterized in any way you please owing to the uh, lemma property 3 of this lemma above. Okay, because any way you parameterize or any smooth way you parameterize gamma 1 is going to give you uh, the same result. Okay. So, um, so, the contour integration uh, over gamma okay, of z square d z. Okay. Uh, well, let us first write a parameterization for gamma 1. Gamma 1 can be described as uh, minus r times 1 minus t plus r times t. Okay. So, um, so then uh, we are almost all set, okay. I am saying almost for a reason uh, the integration uh, to compute the contour integration of z square dz over the contour gamma. Okay. So, now if I can split this into well uh, gamma is the join of gamma 1 and gamma 2. Okay. So, it would be nice if I can split this into uh, the contour integration over gamma 1 plus the contour integration over gamma 2 of z square dz. Okay. So, um, so let us see that one can indeed do this when gamma 1 and gamma 2 are smooth at least. Okay. So, here is a proposition. Okay. So, uh, like in the above lemma, let uh, gamma 1 and gamma 2. So, let gamma 1 be a smooth curve okay, with parameter interval a b okay, and let gamma 2 be a smooth curve you know with a parameter interval c d. Okay. Then uh, ok, 
okay, and let f from uh, gamma 1 star union gamma 2 star okay, uh, to c be a continuous function. Okay, uh, where gamma 1 of b is equal to gamma 2 of c. So, what that means is that the end point of gamma 1 is equal to the initial point, the final point of gamma 1 is equal to the initial point of gamma 2, so that I can form the join of gamma 1 and gamma 2. Okay. Then the conclusion is that uh, the contour integral of f on the join of uh, gamma 1 and gamma 2 is indeed equal to the contour integral of f on gamma 1 plus the contour integral of uh, f on gamma 2. Okay. And the proof involves the fact that you can shift the parameter interval and yet uh, get the same value of the contour integration. Okay. So, uh, recall gamma 1 plus gamma 2 is defined in a certain way, you go from A to B for gamma 1 okay, and you go from B uh, to not exactly D, but you go until uh, D plus B minus C okay, uh, for tracing gamma 2 where gamma 2 is t minus b plus c gamma 2 and the parameter for gamma 2 will be t minus b plus c. Okay. So, there is a shift here we shifted uh, the interval c d to b comma d plus b minus c there. So, we have made a shift and but we have anyway balanced for that uh, using this parameter t minus b plus c. Okay. So, that will take care of that and uh, you can show that using the definition of contour integral, you can show that uh, this turns out. The first piece is not a problem, okay, but the second piece turns out due to this balancing act. Okay. So, that is easy to prove that is left to the viewer as an exercise and uh, next I want to uh, talk about uh, a fundamental theorem of calculus uh, for complex integrals for com contour integrals of this sort. Okay. So, uh, the fundamental theorem of calculus. Okay. So, here is the theorem statement of the theorem. Okay. So, uh, suppose that uh, gamma is a path a contour okay, with parameter interval a comma b okay, uh, and that capital F is defined okay, uh, on an open set. containing gamma star okay, and that f prime of z okay, exists and is continuous at each point of gamma star. So, then uh, the contour integral over gamma of f prime of z dz is equal to uh, f of gamma of uh, b minus capital F of gamma of a if okay, in general. Okay. And uh, 
0 in particular when if gamma is closed. Okay. So, there is no really no real need of bifurcation if gamma is closed gamma of p is equal to gamma of a. So, uh, that subtraction is automatically 0. <coughs> okay. so, so, this is the uh, fundamental theorem of calculus in this context uh, and we will see a proof of this. It is really easy. Uh, so, assume that gamma is smooth to begin with. Okay. So, um, we will relax this for the time being uh, let us assume that it is smooth. Okay. So, now the hypothesis on f uh, that it is differentiable on an open inter open set containing uh, gamma star uh, allows us to say that. Uh, so, f circle gamma okay, is differentiable. Notice f circle gamma it is a function from this interval uh, parameter interval a b to the complex plane. So, uh, f circle gamma note f circle gamma is a function from the parameter interval a b to the complex plane okay. and uh, it is a composition of a smooth function or, or a smooth function and a differentiable function. So, it is differentiable of course. Okay. So, uh, let us compute the derivative using the chain rule f circle gamma prime of t okay, is equal to f prime of gamma of t f prime exists at every point gamma of t. Okay. So, it is f prime of gamma of t and then uh, times gamma prime of t gamma is smooth by assumption. Okay. So, gamma prime exists as well. So, that is the derivative. Okay. So, in order to compute the uh, contour integral gamma f prime of z dz on the contour gamma. So, so, we need to use the definition this is uh, integration from a to b of f prime of gamma of t times gamma prime of t okay, d t. But uh, the integrand is nothing but the derivative of f circle gamma of t. Okay. So, this is the integration from a to b of f circle gamma prime of t dt. Okay. So, f circle gamma is a function from uh, the interval a b to c and it is differentiable. Okay. So, uh, the derivative and the derivative is continuous as well. So, the derivative function here is being integrated. Okay. And we define this kind of integral to be the integration of the real part of this function f circle gamma prime of t which is a continuous function okay, d t plus i times the integration from a to b of the imaginary part of f circle gamma prime of t d t. That is the definition of uh, an integral of this kind. Excuse me. So, uh, so, that is uh, by the real fundamental theorem of calculus, the uh, fundamental theorem of calculus for uh, real functions. Um, this is uh, nothing but the uh, this is nothing but the real part of f circle gamma of t okay, and between the limits a and b plus i times uh, the imaginary part of uh, f circle gamma of t excuse me uh, t between the limits a and b okay and when we add of course we get uh, f circle gamma of t okay between a and b okay so that is f of gamma of b minus f of gamma of a okay and that proves the theorem of course, when gamma is a closed curve, well, let me uh, let me add something. But when gamma is a closed curve, of course, this difference is zero because gamma of b is equal to gamma of a. Okay, if gamma is piecewise smooth, okay, all you have to do is uh, split uh, this contour integration, like one of the properties in the lemma. Uh, 
uh, we have seen earlier. We, we have to split this into uh, pieces k equals 0 to n minus 1 the integration from t k to uh, t k plus 1 okay, of f prime of gamma of t gamma prime of t d t, where uh, gamma restricted to any of these intervals t k comma t k plus 1. So, it is piecewise smooth. So, you uh, can uh, separate the interval uh, parameter interval a b into pieces uh, such that it is smooth on each of these piece. Okay. So, and these are finitely many pieces. So, what I am doing is uh, adding up the integrals on those pieces. Okay. And now, you can apply what we have done before. So, apply apply previous to what we have done before to each of these t k t k plus 1 uh, f prime of gamma of t gamma prime of t d t. Then what you get is a telescoping kind of sum okay, and you end up with uh, f of gamma of b minus f of gamma of a. Okay, so, that will that piece I will leave to you that is easy. So, uh, that is the end of this uh, proof. Okay.